Look at, all, look at all the bits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How long have you been collecting stuff for? Have you heard this for years? Jesus. But it is a fucking mess. Oh, mate, this is sick. <laughs> Holy shit. I've not. In hell. I've not built a car. A friend of mine built it. I just paid for it. Oh my god. Is it does it run? Is it all Yeah. Oh my god. This is the colour this is literally the colour I wanted to go with mine. Is it it if it, it's got fuchsia pink? Yeah. Jack this is I've li yeah, this is literally uh Jack Tank is the one who mapped it. Link is new G-Series Turbo for Holy JDM Garage. Fuck. Is it, is it forged, this, this, or is it? Stock. It's is it? Gonna get well, I mean, it, don't, it doesn't really need them, does it? Oh, my God. This is... I can't believe it's, like, the exact call that I want to go with mine. Spoiler alert, everyone watching this video. <laughs> I've got about 10 RBs. You've got 10 RBs? In, in pieces. I've got another location elsewhere, so... Oh, so you've got more parts? Mate, this is a 3,000 square foot something. building that's absolutely rammed. <laughs> but I reckon I've got probably 10,000 square feet of parts. Oh my god. You can't, I can't believe how many parts this guy. So you gave me the Gloria intercooler as well, didn't you? Sorry? Did you give me the intercooler for the Gloria? So obviously yeah. I had my Gloria and then intercooler was like, ob like all battered. Um, and I was like, like I've rang everywhere. Like, what you think would sell parts of Gloria? Nope. Facebook, this guy's sends you one out <laughs> like what the hell who has an intercooler for a gloria just lying around because i remember like i tried getting like a custom one and they were trying to charge people basically trying to charge like 1500 quid to make an intercooler for it oh is that a gloria yeah. oh shit <laughs> vq vq 30 d2 they call it nah, oh is this just a it's, it's the so this was the well it oh well, yeah <laughs> So it has a Gloria parts car. Oh, mate. Was, it, 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 that's what's cool pissed me off about. It was the worst thing about owning my one. I just I couldn't find anything anywhere. Everything had to be custom made. I bought the parts car from the same guy you probably bought that Gloria from. Oh, uh, what's, what's his Eddie name? Is, he's got a few of them, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a very nice... Is he a guy with face tattoos? Yeah, he's yeah. got a very nice blue one for himself. That's absolutely stunning. I would love to own that Gloria. What, is that I mean, just in the floor, is it? Yeah, it's like rubber. I mean, why the <laughs> fuck would you put that on? <laughs> How long have you had this for? Only six months. Oh, right, so it's quite new then. What's your plans with it? Is it just going to be a little toy or drift? Are you going to take it drifting and stuff? or? I want to get a dedicated drift toy. It's got powder coat subframes. It's right. got uh, adjustable arms all the way around. It just rides. A bit hard, so right. I'm gonna put stock lowers back on stock fronts, keep the adjustable luffers. So this was a what? What power was this? What was this one, Jay? Fuck! You wouldn't even think much of it until you can see the big oil relocator there, and you think, oh maybe. Well, I had a custom inlet manifold, one of one, made in uh, Thailand, uh, six boost. I think everyone's going to want to hear it. <laughs> so we're gonna, oh shit. I think we're just checking if there's a battery, but everything's out getting powder coated and stuff. Oh, mate. This is giving me lots of motivation to get mine done. Oh, we've not got a battery. Never mind. We'll have to just use the imagination. Look at the chunk of the exhaust line. It's good that I've actually seen this colour now because this this is genuinely the exact colour I was going to put mine. But I just want it running first. It's got 43,000 miles. Yeah. Oh my god, it actually has as well. The age of the car, it's at 43,000. Jesus. So what en what engine is this? Like, is it just. Is it. RV25. So this is 25. Yeah, basically an engine out of 33. 33 GST. And it's. Because uh, it looks very pretty. So what, is it all stock internals? Stock internal, stock cylinder head, apart from all the bolt-ons and the R8 coil packs. Have you got any of them R8 coil packs, by the way? No. And what power is it with that turbo? 490, exactly. 490. Holy shit, mate. I bet it sounds unreal. 
Oh. When the boat's not squealing, yeah. Getting stuff powder coated is well worth doing. I mean, it's like it's one of those things. It's like it's once you start, where do you stop? Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah. that's, that's 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 what I've been dealing with with with. Uh, with with my engine as well, it's like where, where where do you stop? And you've got to draw the line somewhere, haven't you? Otherwise, it will never ever ever get done. For you, sticking with the OCA, yeah. that's the best option because you've already got the engine, you've already got the gearbox, you've got the diff, yeah, everything. If you start swapping parts out, then you're like, oh, I need to go buy a gearbox now. Yeah. I need to buy an ECU. You've already got an ECU. Yeah, that's the thing. It's all, like all, all these things. It's like with the SR20. It's like the SR20. Then I've got to get the wiring loom, then the ECU. Then I've got to get it mapped. Then I've got a gearbox. Then I've got to get it's. Then it's just it's just one thing after another. So I try to just stick with the base and just get something that would work. So it's a Ford CA, as you said a minute ago, is a it's a good way to go because you said the light. So the the fast the fast because they're, they're just such light engines. So. Yeah, stick with the CA. Thank you, Neville. That's a good idea. <laughs> Everyone's telling me RB swap it. Well, here's an RB one. Um, and you were saying a Ford a Ford CA would feel quicker than this. I think so. Yeah, just because of the weight, really. The biggest thing that let you down on your S13 power-wise, going 500 horse, you won't be able to use a CA gearbox. Yeah, no. that is literally it. Your yeah. gearbox and your rear diff. But I'm not engine, going 500 horsepower, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Neville's done me there. I'm not going 500 horse. 300 horsepower. You yeah. go for a Garrett GT28 turbo. They're not a lot of money. You probably. It's up to you if you keep your stock manifold. Would you keep, recommend going to Garrett over just getting a T28 from an S15? Personally, get a new turbo. Yeah reason I say that is you've got to think the age of the cars even mm. the s14s that t28s came off yeah they're not new no do you want to buy an old knackered turbo mm. with, with the forge engine you blow that turbo and it takes your engine with oh, you. oh yeah it's a good get a brand new turbo yeah it's the same with mapping take someone who knows what they're doing mapping yeah really think so because most of what I got you'll have already right so we've got this is the cam timing plate cover so with this you can't time it up properly and it stops the belt from fucking flying off so needed couldn't find one anywhere my guy um and then it was the coolant pipe coming away from the block and a dipstick yeah i remember when we took the pickup off it was like all crushed in satin and stuff so i'll uh i'll take a pickup pipe <laughs> Thank you. All right, mate. Right, thanks a lot. See you later, man. Bye. So there we go. Uh, we got some stuff that we badly needed. He's he hasn't got the crank pulleys. I need a crank pulley because my one's got like a huge chunk missing off it. Uh, he says he says that's at his other yard. Uh, so he says he's got a few, but he says it's quite common for them to have chunks off missing. So uh, he says he's, he'll take a picture of the best one and just send it via post. So we've got a dipstick which we needed. The the cam backing plate which we really needed because you can't time it without that. Um, and we got a oil pickup um, filter which I needed uh, and something else. As well a coolant pipe which on mine was just bent so got some parts and we got to see some cool shit we got to see that rb yes 13 oh my god so they, that's called he's called neville uh he missed him on facebook he's called neville davy i'll i'll leave us a a, a screen a, a screenshot of his uh facebook post right now if you need anything he has got everything that's one of four workshops that he's got i think he's just been collecting jap stuff for like most of his life uh, which is like crazy so if you need anything for your jap cars or anything i mean trust me like he's got about 15 cam backing plates i couldn't get them from nissan mate <laughs> just give him a message uh, and see if he's got them and he's 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 not stupidly priced as well a lot of these people like keep the parts just to drive the price up but he's not like that he's really reasonable with his prices um so yeah we're going to go down to pick up the bump. We're going to go and see Emily C30 because we need to pick up the bump, which I've got for this, uh, for the S30. Yes, I've got some uh, body parts as well. Uh, and then we're going to, we can see Milo as well. If you remember, if you're an OG of the channel, you remember Milo, my dog. Uh, he lives with Emily now um, and I've not seen him in about years. So I can't wait to see him. I'm allowed to see him. We need to drop these parts off with Rusty Fat, who's building the engine. Shout out to you, Rusty Fat. Uh, God, long day driving, long day driving. I had to cut it a little bit short there with Neville. I could just chat to him all day about the jack parts, but unfortunately, I don't want to get home at 12 o'clock at night tonight. So, let's get down to MLC 30, another couple hour drive into Nottingham and to see Rusty, and then we're going to go pick up a, some more S13 parts from Peterborough later on this evening. So, it's all kicking off with the S13. 
It's just took me so long to order all the parts. Like I've been trying to find forged parts, the S13, for way over a month now. Um, and nowhere, like I rang up companies and everything was like a six month wait. The one place which sell full rebuild packages for S13s had one thing in stock and that was the oil pump. The rest they didn't have in stock and it could have been a six month wait to get parts. Um, I cannot believe how I found a set of pistons but after three weeks of asking around, I found a company called Cirque Motorsport. Shout out to you, who could special order them from America. Super tech ones in my size that I needed for quite expensive, but still. <laughs> and we've got them. Right, we've done the most important thing of the day, which is see me at the mile. Still need a crank sprocket, a crank pulley, but and then that's like the last thing I believe. So Forge S13 incoming. But let's drop off some parts. Alright, lovely bit of Lorena McKinnett. Um, we're down at Rusty's, you can tell by all the voxels everywhere. But I'm gonna go and drop off the parts and then we can finally go home. I need a wee! The Audi has developed a um, it's a bit weird. Um, it's developed a bit of a judder when I get lightly on a brake. If I lightly brake, it's a bit juddery, so I need to get it on a ramp and, uh, and have a look what's going on because it's not too bad. Like it's it's not got any worse in the past like hundred in the past like hundred miles or so, two hundred miles. It's not really getting worse, but it's definitely uh, it's, it's definitely not ideal. So let's go and drop these parts off. Let's get, well, I'm not even home. Let's go and get the next S13 part. Right, final thing picked up for the 13. Uh, these guys are cool. These guys, are, he's, got, he's, he's trying to rebuild his S13 in the minute, and he's like, yeah, the parts are impossible to get hold of. Uh, but look at his little Toyota BB that he's got. That's his daily. <laughs> what an absolute whip. There's some of the Jap stuff here. So, yeah, they were properly into their Jap cars. So, uh, cool geezers. They were from Russia. He was saying it's easier for him to import parts from Russia for his S13 instead of buying them from here because like nobody has them anywhere uh, and he was actually ch he's actually already checked to Neville today and even Neville doesn't have the bits that he needs so great I uh, can't wait to own an S13 guys <laughs> but we've got the part at the back you'll have to wait for the next video to uh, to see what we're uh, to see what we've got we're gonna put all these parts on um, so but for now I've got probably another couple of hour drive home but I'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching everyone I can't wait to start building the S13 now I know I've got the parts I can actually start do some bodywork stuff to the actual body because it, uh, yeah uh, until I, I'm the sort of guy until I've got something in plan I don't like making other plans so with all the things I've ordered for the S13 everything's ready for the forge we can now start doing some more fun to the shell so thanks for watching everyone I love you all and we'll see you in the next video